Um, all right. So more I hop. Um, I completed my punishment, the challenge. A lot of people liked it. Some people wanted a picture with me, and um, a lot of people say that we look awesome, which apparently is their pleasure. Part of Morgan. Do you see how happy Morgan looks in that video? Let's take it back about an hour. Oh my god. <laughs> I completely underestimated. <laughs> She's having a different time than I am. Look like how many cars are here. All right. Character change. Do you know that Greta Garbo was a fiend for Tupperware? I also have a love for Tupperware. I plan on being the crazy Tupperware lady when I go to college by having a lot of containers of leftover food in my mini fridge. And in honor of the greatest of all plastic uses, we are going to have a series of Tupperware themed challenges for you guys. Yay! I have three different challenges. The first one is for Ali Baxter. What I want you to do is to go to the container store or any place where they sell a lot of Tupperware and place little prizes in 10 pieces of Tupperware. These prizes can be cookies that you've made or bracelets, but it has to be something cool that people will enjoy finding inside their Tupperware. Tupperware challenge number two is for Christine. What I want you to do is write me a one minute speech on why Tupperware is the greatest of all American inventions ever. Not only that, but after you write this essay, you're going to have to recite it to us backwards. So if the word Tupperware would be eraput. And then after you finish, recite it from start to finish so we can actually hear what you're saying and better appreciate Tupperware and its many glorious uses. Morgan, your challenge I think is the funnest and I wasn't going to give it to you but because you were whining so much I decided I just had to. So for your challenge I'm gonna have to be there because I'm gonna be the one filming it. I'm going to fill a Tupperware container with little slips of paper that say different things on them and you and I are going to go to a public place and have people reach into this Tupperware container and pull out a slip. Whatever that piece of paper says, you have to do with that person there. And to the only sassy girl who has not to be punished, I have a little poem for you. Three weeks today I posed to thee, my friends, a game of sorts to see whose words were best. I watched as fast the time drew near its end, no soul persistent quiet did suggest, thought quite so well of his or her wordplay, to nurse abreast a newly born poem, to let spring forth from mine's dark womb one day a fresh young babe of A's or Q's or N's. Of course, exams stood fast to block the mind from setting down some words of loose purpose, but there was one among you friends of mine who knew that who knew she had the skills to prove to us that she deserved some pins and food and more. Miss Allie Rotts, the bag of goods is yours. That's all I have to say today. So, Allie Baxter, I guess I will see you tomorrow. Bye! How are you? Good. How are you? Um, get, What's your get name? It. Why are you here? My name's, um... His name is Cypher. My name's Bob. Nah, yeah, my name's Bob Saget.